This is the Apollo Ghost. As the newest model from Apollo, the Ghost has insane top speed, more features than most dual motor scooters, and all for just $1,500. The Apollo Ghost is otherworldly, like a specter emerging from the fog. It's scary fast with dual 800 watt motors, dual spring suspension, and tons of portability and safety features. In this review, we're gonna show you just how fast the Ghost is and why it's such a great value. And as a special bonus, we're gonna have a race against the 010X and some big dog POV from Raymi. Currently on sale for $1,500, the Ghost throws punches way above its weight class, nearly keeping up with B scooters twice its price. It's a powerful dual motor scooter that's not gonna break your back or the bank, and conveniently comes with stellar lights, folding handlebars and stem, along with spring suspension and dual disc brakes. It's a seriously feature-packed street machine. We're comparing the Apollo Ghost against three standout entry-level dual motor scooters. Currently on sale for $14.99, the Apollo Ghost is a steal, costing you a few less dollars than the Mantis and the 010X. The Ghost comes in third for range, with enough distance to get you where you need to go. When it comes to hills, the Ghost floats up inclines as well as it performs on the flat, besting the 010X by just one tenth of a second of the climb. Not only is the Ghost the fastest of the group, it also has the best braking, half a foot better at stopping than the Mantis. In the 0 to 15 mile per hour test, the Ghost is the fastest off the start line by two tenths of a mile. Up to 20, the Ghost maintains its lead ahead of all scooters. Up to 25, the Ghost starts to lose some ground, and up to 30, the Ghost lands in second behind the Mantis. The Ghost is hauntingly fast, but rather than tell you, why not show you? The Ghost surprised us with the fastest top speed of the group, beating all three well-known and heavily respected scooters in its class. Make no mistake about it, riding the Ghost is about as much fun as you can have for $1,500. Apollo did not skimp on the power, and this is apparent as soon as you switch to dual motor mode. You'll take off like a rocket, outpacing any other branded scooter we've ever tested for anywhere near this price. If you take nothing else away from this review, know that this is the fastest scooter at this price from a reputable company. Now, when you're going fast, the handlebar and grip configuration becomes very important. In fact, after testing over 60 scooters, there are many I simply won't ride because they cramp my hands and the most common irritant for me is the grip style. While this is something that can be modded, it is well appreciated that Apollo installed grips with a super fat outer edge. Additionally, the handlebars themselves angle back towards the rider slightly, which again lends itself to wrist comfort while riding. Moving on to the deck. It is long and wide and totally comfortable, and the suspension is very similar to that of the Apollo Pro, Cobble Mantis, and Zero 10X, which is to say it's really good. Paired with the 10-inch pneumatic tires, overall damping is very good, reducing the jarring you'd normally get from smaller cracks in the road, but also allowing you to spring off speed bumps if you so desire. When you need to come back to earth, this scooter's dual disc brakes work quite well and surprisingly take less force than comparable mechanical disc brakes to get full activation. When riding, it is always favorable to be able to activate the brakes using one or two fingers rather than all four. This allows you to cover the brakes at intersections, reducing your reaction time in emergencies. While it is stable at top speed, it won't be quite as stable as scooters costing $1,000 more like the Apollo Pro, but if you just keep both hands on the handlebars, you'll be fine. And while braking is really good, 
the soft front suspension plus slightly front tilting deck means that you'll need to lean a little bit further back when doing heavy braking. The more I ride this scooter, the more I actually enjoy it. While it looks so similar to the Apollo Pro, it rides a bit differently, but the fun factor and the comfortability factor are quite high and really nothing at this price touches it. But I'm curious as to what our resident big dog has to say about it. Hey everyone, Ray Mayer here with Electric Scooter Guy and I'm here to talk about the Apollo Ghost. Let's get right into it. This scooter is pretty smooth. It's fast, the braking is up there. Like it gets up to like 36, 35 miles per hour and I'm going up here. And you know, I'm a big dog. And this little foot stand right here, you gotta get used to riding like that because it does take some space up with the deck. But other than that, I'm cool. This is one of my new favorite scooters. And from a purchasing standpoint, you can't beat it. Like we have a plethora of scooters to choose from, but if I was buying a scooter, this would be the one for me. To see if it's really big dog approved or not, check out the ESG website and I'm out. The Ghost has a visual feel of being light, stiff, and just plain mean. It's aptly named because its skeletal forged aluminum construction lets you see right through the neck, swing arms, and fender supports. The tire-hugging fenders seemingly float above the wheels but are mounted very solidly so they don't wiggle or rattle. The front fender does come up short on water protection, relying mainly on the front suspension to block water spray, and that doesn't really work. In addition to its exceptionally solid build, the Ghost includes folding handlebars, a key switch with voltmeter, premium grips which clamp into place and never rotate out from under you while riding, split rims for easy tire changes, and striking deck lighting. As nice as the folding handlebars are, we did notice that every five miles or so, the coupler in the middle of the folding mechanism would work itself loose just enough to cause a barely detectable flex in the handlebars. Certainly not dangerous, but a tiny annoyance that could have been avoided. While the black and white finish is dramatic and fitting for a ghost, we miss the signature Apollo blue, white, and black pattern deck, especially because the center of the ghost deck has a nearly five inch gap in the grip tape enough so that your entire front foot often finds itself with no grip tape at all. At the other end of the deck, the much appreciated latch for the stem does take away an inch of otherwise usable deck space. Cable routing is clean and uncluttered, however, copious use of zip ties routing the cable to the deck make it look a little unfinished on one side. Overall, Apollo has done an amazing job of giving us more without taking anything away from build quality. Now, you typically do not associate dual motor extreme scooters with portability, but the Ghost actually has the best portability of any scooter in its class. Coming standard with folding handlebars, it morphs into a package only 15.3 inches wide rather than the 24 to 27 inches of width on comparable scooters. It still has a pretty standard 50 inch wheelbase, so check your trunk to make sure it can fit in there. This is the Apollo Pro trunk test. A little bit, you know, it's a long wheelbase, but as you can see, the handlebars are folded. So I'm hoping it'll fit. Gotta go handlebar side in first. And then as you can see, the wheel just straight comes down there and boom, it actually fits in the trunk of a car. The Apollo Ghost passes the ESG trunk test. The skeletal frame has lowered the weight to just 64 pounds, which not only makes it a bit easier to lift and carry than comparable scooters. After folding the scooter down, you also have the option of securing the stem to the deck, which is super helpful when loading into the back of an SUV or trunk so that the handlebars are not flopping all over the place. Folding and unfolding is going to be nearly identical to other collar style stem systems found on most comparable scooters in the class. The Ghost has stellar, bright deck mounted headlights, tail lights, and swag lighting that catches eyes for all the right reasons. People will see you coming and you'll look cool as you do. With a handy bell, a key start ignition for security on the go, and those super effective brakes, it's hard to find a better packaged value than the Ghost. Overall pros include fastest scooter in its class, outstanding braking, fantastic portability features, and excellent lighting. Overall cons, water spray from front tire, and it needs more grip tape. The Ghost has a real presence, 
floating past some of the fastest scooters we've ridden. Is it perfect? No, but no scooter is. Is it a steal? Yes, yes it is. At $1,500, it's got the most power per dollar than any legit scooter that we've tested. And it's ready to go. Built to be taken with you in a complete package that includes street-worthy lights, folding everything, and brakes that stop on a dime. Also, if going fast is something you want to do for a long time, it's hard to beat the 24-month limited warranty from Apollo. What scooter would you like us to compare the Ghost to in the next Scooter Showdown? Let us know in the comments and we'll make it happen. Join us on ESG Live Show number 72 to learn a little bit more about the Ghost in our deep dive. This is Chuck, ride safe, and don't forget to wear your helmet. Want more of the best? If price is not an object, check out the exotic Enokim Oxo review below. And want to compare this scooter to its bigger brother? Check out the Apollo Pro review below.